What if every sales lead that hit your website was instantly logged, then scored by AI, and every hot lead triggered an email directly to your inbox? In this video, I'll show you how to build that workflow in NAN in under five minutes. If you're in sales or marketing, missing a hot lead is like leaving money on the table. But with NAN, Superbase, and AI, you'll never miss one again. So let me show you how. Let's start this workflow by creating a form. So click on the plus sign and search for NAN form. We'll just uh, name this as contact us and we'll give, give it a description that we'll get back to you soon. For our fields, we'll go add form element. The first one will be name and we'll just leave the placeholder as what is your name. Then we'll add a second form element and this one will be for email. So what is your email? And we'll change it to uh, the text type to an email. And finally, let's add a message. What is your message? So the reason that we're using a message field is so that the AI can read it when they submit their form and then categorize them as a hot, warm, or cold lead. So we'll just mark that as required. And let's go back to building our workflow. So for our second step, we're gonna log the form entry into our database and we're using Superbase for this workflow. What we'll do is we'll click on create a row Make sure that you've already hooked up your Superbase account. So if you don't know what Superbase is, it's a Postgres database where we'll be able to store our leads. And if you haven't already signed up for an account, go check out my previous video where I take you through how to set up your credentials. I've logged into Superbase and I've selected my project. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select Table Editor. On the left-hand side, there'll be a new table button. And we're gonna call our new table leads. Scroll down to the bottom and what we want to do here is marry up all of the fields on our table to the fields on the NAN form. So we'll go ahead and add one and we'll call this one name. The type will be text. The next one will be email. Type will be text. Then we'll add another one, message. And we'll also make this a text variable. Now finally what we want to do is actually add a score. So we'll call this one score and the type will also be text. So the score is the field that the AI agent's gonna go ahead and categorize the lead as hot, warm, or cold. So save this and just wait for it to be done. Now we're ready to log our form submissions to our database. So click on the plus sign and search for Superbase. We'll click on create a row and make sure that you've got the correct credential set up Make sure to select the correct table. So we've just created leads, select that. So add three fields below. And the first one is gonna be name. The second one's gonna be email. And the final one is gonna be message. Now in order to map it, let's execute the previous node. This will bring up the form and we'll just do a dummy one here. Chris at example.com. And I am interested in your services. Click on submit. Cool, and now we'll be able to go ahead and map each of the fields. So drag name to name, email to email, and message to message. And you'll notice this row level security error on the right hand side. For the purposes of this demo, we're just gonna turn it off in our database. So go to Superbase, click on the three dots, click on view policies, and then click on disable RLS, confirm. Now when we click execute step, we'll be able to create a row in our Superbase database. So the next step now is to add an AI agent to our workflow. So click on the plus sign here, click on AI agent, and click on AI agent here. So if you haven't worked with AI agents before, there are a few key components that you need to understand. Each AI agent's gonna have a system message which defines what they can do. So in our example, we're gonna click on add option and add a system message. We're gonna tell this AI agent that they're an expert lead scorer and that they must categorize any new lead that comes in as hot, warm, or cold. Perfect. Next step is we're gonna pass through the form entry into the AI agent. So click on the connected chat trigger node and select define below. We'll type new lead alert and then we'll call it name, email, message. And drag across each of the values. So we'll put name there, email underneath, and finally message. Once we're given the error agent context, 
we'll need to go and add a chat model. So think of a chat model as the AI agent's brain. Without it, it can't actually think or do anything. So click on the plus sign down here. And I'm just going to use OpenAI's uh, GPT 4.1 Mini. Let's go ahead and test this out now. So click on Execute Step. And you'll see here that the output is actually a bunch of text. So we'll need to go ahead and fix that to remove all of the extra words because we just want it to write hot, warm, or cold. So we'll go ahead and enhance our sister message. Output should only be one word, hot, warm, or cold. And let's try that again. So click on execute step again. And now you'll be able to see the output is just one word. The final step is to give our AI agent a tool. So a tool is the ability to do something. So in this scenario, we want the AI agent to update our database and update the lead as hot, warm, or cold. So to do this, we click on the plus sign next to the tool and we'll search for Superbase. Make sure you select other tools, the Superbase tool. What we'll do here is instead of the operation being set as create, let's go and update our row. Select your table as leads. And then we need to set a condition to go ahead and update our lead. So click on add condition. The field name is going to be ID. Condition is equals. And then drag the ID from your previous node to the field value. And then let's go send the score to our database. So we'll click add field here. Select on score. And then we'll let the model define this parameter. And finally, we'll need to update our system message to instruct our AI agent to use the Superbase tool to update the database. Use the Superbase tool to update the score in the database. And then let's click out. And now we'll press play. Awesome. And now you can see that the AI agent has successfully used the Superbase tool to update our database. So first, let's go check out what the AI agent scored them. So you can see that the output was hot. And then if we go to our Superbase database, we can see that the lead has been updated to hot. So the final step in our workflow is to send an email if the lead is hot. Click on the plus sign and then type condition. And then we're going to select if. So if the output is equal to hot, and if we click out, you'll now be able to see a true or false branch. So let's click on the plus sign here for true. And then we'll search for Gmail and we'll click on send a message. And I'm just going to fill up the information for the Gmail node. And I'm just going to make it dynamic so that we can actually reference the fields. So I'll change that to expression and then I'll just drag their name. And for our message, I'll just add the details below. Perfect. And let's go execute this step. And you can see I've received a new email alert with all of the leads details. Okay, let's go do an end to end test to see this workflow from start to finish. So I'll click on execute workflow. This time my name will be John Smith. It'll be john at example.com. And my message will be I am very interested to buy your services. Let's click submit. And now we can click through all the steps to see how our workflow went. So let's go ahead and look at the creator row. Here you can see the data has been stored in our database with ID three. We now go to our AI agent and the AI agent has classified them as a hot lead. We can see they've updated the row in our database and the if condition has listed them as hot, which has then triggered a sender message. So in my email, we can see a hot lead alert with John Smith and all of his details that he entered in the form. And in my database, I can see John Smith's form entry and that he's been classified as a hot lead. So that's it. You've just built an AI sales agent that can capture, log, qualify, and alert when a new lead submits a form entry on your website. If you want to grab this exact workflow and start using it right away, make sure to check out my automation vault on my website. The link's on my bio and you'll find plenty of free templates like this one. Next up, I'll show you how to build an AI inbox assistant that automatically reads your emails and drafts your responses for you.
make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.